This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry, and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help you. Lift up your eyes, look at the pigs, the harvest is Lift up your eyes, here are the tools are sharp. The work is kept together. Lift up your eyes, it is harvest time.
Come on, give the Lord a mighty shout of victory.
Yes, you are able this morning. Come on, celebrate Jesus this morning. Oh, Ramashida la la re la bayara la basayara la bayanda. We love you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We love you with everything that is within us.
devils. Lift up your hands and worship him. Worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We give you the glory. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sins. We thank you for you resurrected with power. We glorify you. We magnify your name. Worship the King of Kings. Lift up your hands. He saved you by the blood of the Lamb. Lift up your hands and worship Him. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We give you the praise. Oh, you are worthy, worthy to be praised. Worthy to be glorified. You came for us. You came for us. You left heaven to die on for us. We are grateful. 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 Oh, you came from heaven, Lord, to show us the way. We glorify you, Jesus. We glorify you. You came from heaven to us. Father, we give you praise. We give you adoration. You left heaven. You came here on earth to die for us. And we glorify your name today. We thank you for the power that resurrected Jesus from the dead. We thank you because you are no longer on the grave. But you are alive. 
you are alive in us you are alive in our lives and father we worship you this morning we say that there is none like you we glorify your holy name and in jesus mighty name we do pray and believe in somebody shouts give him the loudest shout of praise I say shout to Jesus. He's no longer on the grave. I say he's no longer on the grave. He is alive. Hallelujah. I want us to shout, but before you shout, let me give you two revelations. Hallelujah. Every person who ever died, they are usually called the late. Hallelujah. The late so and so, the late so and so, the late Kenyatta, the late Nelson Mandela, the late Muhammad. Hallelujah. It is only Jesus who died and he was never called the late Jesus. I Every other person is the late, but Jesus is not the late. Second revelation. Every person who died and was resurrected at a period of time, they died again. <laughs> Lazarus died. He was resurrected. At some point, he died again. The Shunammite woman's son, he died. He was resurrected. He died again. But this Jesus, <laughs> I said this Jesus He died once and for all Death has no power over Jesus Christ Are you ready to shout to Jesus? I say are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Hey, 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 hey Yeah, 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 yeah Hallelujah. He is alive and is no longer on the grave. Hallelujah. I want you to greet one or two, three neighbors, welcome them into the service. Tell them Jesus is alive this morning. Jesus is alive. Greet them while smiling. Greet them while smiling. If your neighbor is greeting you without smiling, after you finish greeting, you look for another neighbor. Hallelujah. They have to smile to you. Hey! 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 Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We want to celebrate the praise and worship team. Clap your hands. Celebrate this powerful team. Hallelujah. Today, Papa again, <laughs> he stood in solidarity with the choir. Last Sunday, he wore white. Today, he wore white again. He has beaten us 2 nil, <laughs> together with Bishop Murid. Hallelujah. Choir, we love you so much. We are always in solidarity every Sunday. Amen. You may have your seat in the presence of the living God. Amen. Amen. We are going to hear the news from JCC TV. Let's celebrate them as they come to give us the notices. Lift up your eyes, look at the fields, the harvest is right. Lift up your eyes, here are the tools are sharp. The work is kept together. It is harvest
is anointed. He's changing you. He's changing your family. He's changing your history. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Oh my God. Welcome to JCC TV, the station that brings you the uncompromised gospel wherever you are. Well, we have so much that we have been preparing for you. We cannot be gatekeepers who are sleeping. We must watch. We must be here. Every, before they, they get up to make their sacrifices, we are now them. If you didn't know, it's called the fourth watch. And it is the time when the enemy attacks. Good morning. Welcome to the dawn with me, Lucy Mwendo. This is the show where we command the morning and cause the dawn to know it's a place. The death of Jesus on the cross has secured a lot for man. But unless and until man is informed of that, then he will live a life that is below his standard. Labda uwezo kutueleza zaidi au kutufafanulia zaidi kusiana na nijinsi gani mtu aneza kupata nguvu hizi kulingana na bibilia takatifu. Then we have alteration in neurobiology process in stimulation discrimination whereby we are talking about what? Problem with attention and concentration. There are some people who even go to extent of beating the kids even when they are they are young. Uyu mama haka nileza, haka nambia. Wewe unajua nini kimefanyika? Because when the world writes you off mm. and the Lord elevates you. Welcome to prayer worship. In this program, we answer all the questions that you ask on our social media platform. Praise the Lord, I'm engaged to an apostle mm -hmm. who is placing a lot of demand um, on apostle placing demand. <laughs> <laughs> we have church growth masterclass with Pastor Wilfred Lai. Listen, if you are a pastor and you have been struggling or looking to grow your church, this is the show for you. If you are a church leader, this is the show for you. With over 40 years in ministry, centers and branches all across the country, annual conferences, this is wisdom that has been acquired through revelation and experience this is only exclusive to jcc tv you can trust me that you will not find this anywhere else the work of ministry cannot be done by people who are not properly equipped stop fighting one another a kingdom divided cannot stand we may have different names. Huh? Our, our churches have got different names, but we are one kingdom. On Happily Ever After, we talk all things of marriage and family. Begin to show that you are the head of this home, that your wife is special to you. Begin to give our gifts. A gift is something from the heart. It doesn't, it doesn't, a gift doesn't have to have a value. A gift is a gesture of love. Not forgetting the little ones every Saturday morning. Wake up your kids, let them spend the morning with us. We have an edutainment show. Yes, education and entertainment. We bring the gospel to the kids in a way that they will understand, learn, and have fun. We have anointed men and women of God from across the country and the world bringing this uncompromised gospel to you. Ooh! Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the calamities. Don't be afraid of your present situation. Don't be afraid of the way things look like right now. Jesus is not threatened 
By yes. our greatness. Yes, we are tishwi. Na ukuwetu. And a true father Na baba mzuri. will not be threatened Atatishwa. by the greatness of his sons. You need to clean up your system yako. that you begin to think right about yourself. And before everyone, Na mbele ya watu wote. the legs that were completely twisted, it's straightened up. The legs that could not carry him It received strength This is a time to wake up And I came to wake the women up I came to look for some Samaritan women I came to look for some Samaritan women Who are going to go to the highways And the byways They will go door to door From house to house Telling people Come see a man Come see a man Come see a man you don't have to be ordained You don't need a microphone You don't need a title You need an encounter An encounter Can I see some women here Who have had an encounter Hast thou not heard Hast thou not known The everlasting father The creator of the end of the earth he never faints. I believe on his grace. <inaudible> on his love. <inaudible> on his mercy. <inaudible> I will never judge anybody. <inaudible> I will never condemn anybody. <inaudible> Everybody is fighting a battle. Can I tell you, in case you've forgotten, Jesus died so that his will will become effective. <inaudible> See, the, the enemy, Lucifer, Satan, is not omnipresent he's not all-knowing we teach him we inform him by what we say we inform him by what we look at we inform him by what we read we inform him by all, you know everything we say and do it is until you have a deeper revelation of who you are regardless of what is happening in your life that you begin to give things when God called me I was alone and I need to understand that and be careful and be sensitive. Understand the time. Grow with my time. That doesn't mean storms will not come. It doesn't mean that shakeups will not come. It doesn't mean that hard times will not come. But God will hold you. I come to prophesy. You shall burn again. My first sermon Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. If man chooses to die in sin, God has washed his hands. A witness. I send my son. He died on the rugged cross to make a way for everybody. Understand this, that the day you got saved, you announce war. When it comes to our music, we don't just play any kind of music. Our music is handpicked from seasoned and anointed ministers who have been doing this over the time. So to catch this and so much more, scan your decoder. This is JCC TV bringing the gospel to you. Light to the nation, children's choir. Celebrate them as they come to minister to the Lord. Uh, as they come to minister, we'll be giving some few announcements. All youths and teenagers to remain behind at the main entrance uh, after, the, after the service for washer registration. We only have one week towards the washer. 
And if you are a parent, you can also visit the desk to register your child, maybe if he's, an, he's a teenager and he may not have the money. So you can go and register him at the desk right there at the main entrance. If there is, number two is, if there is anybody who came for Sunday water baptism, uh, immediately after this service, you should remain behind so that we can baptize you. Our baptism pool is on my left, which is on your right, right there. So immediately after this service, there will be baptism. So uh, remain behind and we will baptize you right there at the pool. All men are requested to meet briefly after the service. So after the service ends, all men will sit down. The women will go. Amen. Let's celebrate the light to the nation. Wow, let's celebrate the children. And let all the children come to the front. Stand up on your feet, everybody, and shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. We are celebrating the resurrection. This is celebration. This is resurrection. Sunday, we are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ because of what happened on Sunday morning. They went and they checked the grave and the grave was empty. There was nobody there. The women had come ready to pour oil To anoint the body but there was nobody the grave was empty the stone had been rolled away hallelujah and because of that we have victory I say we have victory because he conquered death, he has given you victory over everything. How many of you know that the greatest enemy of humanity is death? How many of you know that? Because Jesus conquered death, he has given us victory over everything. Oh, you are not celebrating. I think, I think... If you don't celebrate well, I'll call Pastor Luke here to give you the two things again. I, I'll call him here to give you the two things again. Because he is not the late. I say he is, he is alive. I say Jesus is alive. And he will never die. He is alive forevermore. And because he is alive forevermore, we can celebrate life. We can enjoy being called his own. Death has lost. The grave has been denied. Oh, hallelujah. And now you can leave. You can leave. You have, you have abundant life. Because of that, you have abundant life. I say you have abundant life. Jesus said the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I came that you may have life. And for you to have life, he had to die so that you can have life and we have life in abundance and that's why we can celebrate the lord every single day every single hour 
every week. I, this is why we are called a celebration. We are Jesus Celebration Center. This is a place to celebrate Jesus. So, the hospital, the hospital is a place to care for the sick. That's why it's called hospital. The school is a place to teach children, students. Every name must mean something for it to be relevant. So this place where we are, <laughs> It is a place to come and celebrate the victory that we have in Jesus. Now you can celebrate quietly. Now, now I want you to welcome your neighbor. I want you to welcome your neighbor to Jesus Celebration Center. Tell them you are not in a place of the dead. You are in a place of celebration. We refuse to be religious. We refuse to be quiet. You can't have a quiet celebration. I have never seen it. You can't have a quiet celebration. Let me hear you celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Are the children celebrating? Ah, let me hear you again. Are you celebrating? And you know, uh, we were talking with Mama the way um, uh, JCC TV likes to put things when they uh, announced the conference for men. It was quiet, nice. The conference for the women, nice, quiet. But when they uh, advertised Washa, it was fire <laughs> everything just changed I said my God and then they brought me and I said uh, I am joining you the young people you know uh, you know why why because uh, I am very young inside me there is nothing like old nothing old in the inside of me. everything everything in me is youthful and so we are going to have our worship and if you are a young man if you are a young lady here and you are not yet registered unatuangusha if you are a teenager and you are not registered for worship unatuangusha sisi vijana unatuangusha ambia jirani Usiangushe, usiangushe, usiangushe. Uo moto ambao umewakishwa. Usiangushe. Sema amen. Sema amen. Sema amen. We can't have ati vijana wengine wanakuja kuwaka, kuwaka hapa na wale vijana wetu wanakaa baridi baridi. I was the can. Ambia jirani I was the can hiyo. Wanakuja kupata moto kutoka kwetu how many teens do i have how many how many youth do i have in the house wave wave unto me if you are a teenager if you are a youth if you are ah wave your hand to me and shout if you are amen 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 we 
we have just a few we have a few uh, a few days before our conference and uh, uh, we're gonna jump pack this place I tell you all the young people are coming from everywhere and we will be all waiting for them here amen the the washer is just one week away yes it's only one week away that wasn't me something else but I am I said the washer is only one week away and we will be here the whole week on fire on fire I said on fire so what is the age for those who are welcome pastor Luke from what age from 12 upwards okay up to my age <laughs> They, they, they didn't give me the limit so from 12 upwards so if you are youthful you can register yourself you know there was one, one man why am I telling you stories this morning because it's resurrection Sunday tell your neighbor it's resurrection Sunday the oldest student lives lived in this country he went into primary school do you know how old he was huh the oldest man to join primary school he was he, he was a grandpa when he joined and he was sitting in class I see the way you are shocked. Ah, yes. And he was carrying his bag. <laughs> yes, I wanted to see those smiles. Running to school, wearing shorts. <laughs> and he came and he sat at the desk. Did you hear this story before? No? Okay. It is it's a true story. You can Google. Okay? <laughs> Google even knows the name of the man. <laughs> Google knows everything. He knows even the name of this man. So old, yet he was young. And you know why he went to school? They interviewed him. They asked him, why did you go to school when you are so old? He said, I want to read my Bible. He said, I have gone to school because I want to read my, the Bible for myself. I don't want to hear people reading. I want to read the Bible. So he, he went to school for a very, very noble reason. At a very, very old age. And Google will tell you how old he was. Uh, my name is not Google. So Google, Google will tell you how old he was and how, what is his name. And why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you all this to say uh, every young person will need to be in the worship. Come out, Pepom Koo. Roa mungu huja Akijaza ewa yote Na utakazo Roho wa tarajio Toka mbinguni Kitu onye shama pensi ya mungu Ya Shukaro, now talk us. 
know you have closed school, so I'm going to bless you. And you have, you have to behave like children that love Jesus throughout the, throughout the vacation. Okay? So, so we're going to have uh, special programs uh, to have you uh, occupied with Jesus throughout the vacation. Amen? Amen. You like that? You love that? Amen. Amen. Our children's ministry gets even more alive when it's uh, vacation time. Amen. So make sure that when you hear the, the, the announcements and uh, the, you are given the program, make sure that you are there. All right. Lift your hands to heaven and receive blessing from the Lord. I pray. I ask everyone to stretch your hands towards our children. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Do not send them away. They wanted to send the children away that they don't hear Jesus preach. Uh, uh, Jesus said, let them stay. The kingdom of heaven is of such. And so our children are going to stay this morning. Father, I pray that these little children who have come to you, Lord, that you are going to bless them. You are going to protect them throughout this uh, holiday season for them. I pray, Lord, that they will have blessing from you. You will protect them from every evil thing that has been put into, uh, into the gadgets that they use, their phones. I pray, oh God, that you will protect them from every wicked thing that is going on. Father, let them only be occupied with those things that build them and make them better uh, in their spiritual lives. We cover them with the blood of Jesus and I speak the protection the angel of the law that watches over this house watch over our children and protect them physically and spiritually to the glory of your great name O oh lord in jesus name i pray amen. now god's people shout a big amen, amen. hallelujah amen. amen and we're gonna make our confession right now that god is able 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. Let's it, say it loudly. And God is able to make all grace abound towards me that I always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Amen. Amen, amen. You will not lack anything. You will have sufficiency and an abundance for every good work. Amen, amen. So now, did you bring your Bibles? Let me see if you brought your Bibles. Amen, wonderful, wonderful. And your notebook? We're going to have a time in the presence of God. So I want you to go take your place. Right now, sit with your parents. It's a family time in the house of God. And we're going to be blessed because we came. As we gather, may your spirit work within us. And as we gather, may we glorify your name.
as we turn to your word this morning may every word that I speak today be anointed by you to change destiny to establish your sons and daughters in faith may we grow up to be mighty may we could grow up in the faith to be great in the land speak to us Lord let me just be your mouthpiece say whatever you need to say through me and may your name be glorified in Jesus name I pray and all God's people shout a big amen You may be seated. And on this Resurrection Sunday, I want to teach about waiting on God. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. The Bible there says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. I want you to hear this. I know you know this, you know this verse, but I didn't just come to tell you a story about the verse. I came to help you to understand how powerful it is. To wait on God. That word wait means pray. When you see the word wait in scripture, it means pray. You don't wait doing nothing. You wait pray. You wait for God to fulfill his promise while you are in prayer. It says when you wait on God, in other words, when you pray, you renew your strength. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, the way to renew your strength is through prayer. When you pray, you renew your strength. Physical strength can diminish. That's why before the vast Go back to verse 30. It says, even the youth, even the youths shall faint and be weary. The youths are all over in scripture. Acknowledged as strong. John is saying, I write to you young men because you are strong. But Isaiah says, even the youths shall faint and be weary. That means anybody who relies on physical strength, relies on something that is not totally reliable. Your, your physical strength can diminish. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And your young men shall utterly fall. In other words, what you think is so strong can fail you. You rely on your mental strength that you are so highly educated. It can fail you. It's something that you need to understand and this has everything to do with what Jesus died to give us. Jesus 
died to give us life. When you pray, you renew your strength, both physical. Some people don't even believe what I said is true. Prayer will make you younger. Thank you very much for those who are hearing me. This morning I came to teach and I'm just going to teach if the anointing to preach comes, you know I'm sparing it for the crusade. But if it comes I will preach. I, 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 I will really preach if, I, if, if God wants, I'll do what God wants me to do. Amen. But this morning I just want to teach. Prayer will make you physically strong. Prayer I was reading something secular and they were talking about fasting and I was shocked these are psychologists they were not talking from the Bible they were speaking from psychological point of view talking about how the human body functions and they said when you fast, they didn't call it prayer. They said fast. They were talking about what kind of foods you need to eat so that your body can be strong. But they said, when you fast, something happens, the human body trying to create what comes when you eat produces more strength than when you eat. I was shocked. I said, am I reading the Bible or am I reading something secular? And they said, I said, this is, this happens. They said, you, you, you try it. Men become stronger. When they are fasting. I, I said oh Jesus. So if. If you don't believe the Bible. Even, even like the psychologists. Know that. You renew your strength. They may not say it. In the biblical way. But. They have done research. And they have discovered that. When you pray. It is called prayer and fasting. You, re <laughs> you renew your strength. You renew your strength. You renew your strength. How many people want to be stronger physically? You renew your strength. Uh, I mean you become stronger when you pray. And this is why the devil will, will fight prayer in your life and make sure that you pray as little as possible so that you can become physically and spiritually weak. I refuse to be ignorant of the schemes of the devil. Somebody else should have said me too. When you have something telling you you shouldn't pray, remember that is an enemy to your strength. Both spiritually, I say this, I emphasize it, both Physically and spiritually. People ask me, how old are you? I say, that's not your business. I, want, I once was visiting uh, somebody in the hospital. And a doctor came to greet me. He said, you're still jumping and running around preaching? I said, yes, sir. He said, what is your secret? I said, prayer. Amen. This is a medical doctor asking me. He asked me, what is your secret? 
You can jump, jump, jump and run, 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 run. You have no pains in your joints. You have nothing. You just are like a young man. What's your secret? I said prayer. I said prayer. I said prayer. And I'll say prayer to you is a secret of physical and spiritual strength. So when you find yourself sleeping, when it is morning glory, remember you are getting weaker. The, the more you sleep, the weaker you wake up. More in the morning, you wake up with the joints having pain. You say, oh, uze umeanza kuja. Ni udhaifu. Tell your neighbor, don't miss, don't miss this information. It's very important. You know, people are spending so much time doing physical exercise and it is very important. The Bible says it has got little benefit. And they are spending more time looking for the little benefit and ignoring what brings big benefit. Physical exercise. And I do it because I want every benefit. The little one and the big one. I want every single one of them. So, so I exercise. I won't lie to you. I'll tell you the truth. I do everything. I exercise. I, I, I do things to stay, to stay fit. But, but I know what keeps me fit more than anything else is prayer. Is prayer. Is prayer. Is waiting on God. You know, Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 23, it says, when you do this, you, when you wait on God, you will never be ashamed. Kings shall be your foster fathers and their queens your nursing mothers. They shall bow down to you with their faces to the earth and lick up the dust of your feet, then you will know. Then you will know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed or wait for me. Amen. They shall not be ashamed, those who wait for me. You can erase from your life shame by waiting on God. You see, God gave us a word. In the beginning of the year, I was in prayer. You know, many things that I teach, I didn't learn them in a school somewhere. I hear God when I'm praying. And at the beginning of this year, God spoke to me very strongly. He said, tell your sons, Proverbs 22, 29. You know what it says? He says, do you know, do you see a man who excels in his work? He will stand before kings. Did you see verse 49 says, kings will be your foster fathers. He will stand before kings. He will not stand before ordinary men. Unknown. Unknown. When you walk with unknown people, you struggle even with the smallest things. But when you walk with known people, there is something that needs to be done. You can just make a phone call, just one. Instead of going to queue somewhere, just a phone call. I don't know who I'm talking to. All this happens because you are strong. 
You don't, you do not, you don't stand before great men. People pay a lot of money to get connection. You can get it for free. You only need to connect with God and God will connect you with everyone else that you need to get connected to. Amen. They will know you. They will seek to have connection with you. You will not be the one running around uh, licking their boots. Did you see the, who will be licking your boots? Did you see it? It's in your Bible. It's a promise. Say, I refuse to stand this year with ordinary people. Say, oh God, teach me to wait on you so that I excel in the works of my hands and be introduced by your spirit to kings. To great men. Can I have a big amen? Every situation that will come to stop you is an opportunity for prayer. People who don't know this, they cry. They say, oh, I mean, Trouble comes all the time. <laughs> Many are the afflictions of the righteous. The psalmist say so. Hmm? The righteous will be given opportunities by God to show their strength. All those things that make others cry, they should make you laugh. You'd say, ah, you don't know who you are messing up with. You are messing up with a strong man of war. And I will give you a knockout. I will come out more victorious than uh, you can even imagine. Because I am not weak, I am strong. I am full of God. I walk with him. I talk to him every day. Now the people that you talk to, the people that you can communicate to, the they are a sign of who you are. If you are an ordinary man, if you pick, if you call somebody of any of any significance, they will not even receive your call. But there are people that just lift up their phones to call somebody of significance. When they see the phone, they stop everything they were doing to receive that call. Is anybody hearing me? Greatness does not come because of prominence. Greatness comes because God is in the business of making you strong. If you didn't know, I will tell you for free. God didn't bring you here to be a mshirika. God brought you here. I want you to hear this. Brought you here to train you for greatness. What we do in this house is not done in many places. People try it and it fails. Say, how can, you, how can you be praying every day four in the morning? Who comes for prayer more four in the morning? Who wakes up at three? I say, my sons. And the foolish ones 
who are my sons are sleeping at that time. The foolish ones. There are some who still sleep because they are F-O-O-L. And I say this as their father because I have got a right to chastise my children. So, so if, you are a, if you are a son, you, 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 should, you should take the chastisement from, not everybody can call you that. And don't allow everybody to call you just what I said. No. We wake up and pray because we have understanding. We are renewing our strength. You need, you need strength, new strength daily. So prayer is not something to do because you have a need. We don't pray because we have a need. We pray because we need strength and we need to pray. You, if you thought you didn't have a need, you have a need of something called strength. Can I have an amen from somebody who knows that? Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, I am here for greatness. You must get into the discipline of prayer. So that you don't faint with the youth. That you don't grow weary. Because then they wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings. Not like a bird. But like an eagle. An eagle is not just a bird. An eagle is an animal of strength. When an eagle begins to grow old, the eagle refuses to grow old and it goes up on the mountains and on rocks and it stays there without eating and it, and it pulls off all the feathers for new ones to spring forth and stays there until new feathers come up and when the new feathers come up it mounts it that's the new power it's like it is a, like a car that was smoking and you put in new piston rings ay, 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 ay. you step on that thing it, it drives like a new machine. Amen. Woo! Ha, 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 ha. I am an ego Christian. I, 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 I don't have the old feathers. I don't have the feathers of people who are that old, like who have lived the years I have lived. I don't have those feathers. I, I, I removed them. <laughs> I have new ones, new ones. <laughs> and I am moving from glory to glory. We are moving from city to city, from crusade to crusade, from, from kingdom empowerment to kingdom empowerment, from one nation to another nation. I travel and I don't get things they call jet lag, jet lags. I don't get those things. They don't, I don't have time to look. Jet lagged. I come from America. Land in here. Preach. I leave this place, I go to America. Land there, I don't have time to waste. I don't have time to uh, to get adjusted to the times. No, I don't have time for that. I get in there and I do what I want to do and I go, get out and I go elsewhere. I go to the west. I, I go to, to the east. Five hours ahead. Nine hours ahead. No jet lag. 
Why? Because I pray. Because I pray. Because I pray. Because I pray. Because. Amen. You say these things are natural. Yes, they are. But spiritual things are the beginning. They are the root of the, of the physical. Everything that you see physical, it has got its roots in the spiritual. Everything minus nothing. So if you do not connect to the spiritual, you will be physically weak. Is anybody learning something? Yes. Say, I refuse, I refuse to be like a bird. I'm an ego. Say, even in my old age, even in my old age to, talk to your neighbor tell, so that you have a witness. So you have, to, you have a witness. Tell them, even in my old age, I will be fruitful. You don't have to get weaker and weaker because you are growing old. Age is a number. Today, next month, they are going to call me a number old. Because next month is my, is my birthday month. Amen. We, are, we are entering into the month of April. And I am not going to be that old. I am going to be that, that many years young. How old are you? None of your business. Ask me how young I am, I will tell you. That's your business. It's your business to know how young I am. But if you want to know how old I am, it's none of your business. I'm renewing my mind every day. I'm getting young. I, I, must, I must be sound. I must, I must have a mind that thinks like a mind of a 25-year-old. 25-year-old. I, have a bo I must have a body that functions like a body of a youth, even stronger than the youth. Amen. I was moving around with our pastors, most of them under, under 40, most of them. And we were traveling around, driving around, and I wanted to train them. So we were staying together. We slept in the same place. I said, we wake up in the morning at breakfast is seven. Everybody must take breakfast at seven. Because there is no other meal you're not going to eat again until in the evening. They couldn't, they couldn't go with that. They started carrying snacks. <laughs> and I would be, how would hear mama say, there, there is something here for you to bite. I thought, I thought we are eating in the evening and eating in the morning. What is, what is wrong with these people? So they, uh, we, we travel, we go to some places. We were visiting our churches. Some of them are right in the middle of nowhere. So we would go park cars and we will, we will climb up and they want to hold my hand. I say, I'm not an old man. I can climb alone. Yes, sir. So they started asking, telling, oh, Papa, you need to tell us your secret. Well, they think that when you are doing this kind of thing, you don't wake up to pray. That's my secret. I wake up and pray before I do anything else. I cannot rely on physical strength. I know. I know. Even the youth. I read it. It's in my Bible. How can I miss it? 
He says, even the youth who are supposed to be physically strong uh -huh. shall grow weary. Oh, yeah. They shall fall. Mm -hmm. A young man who depends on their physical strength uh -huh. shall fall. So, if you didn't know why you have to wake up to come for morning glory, now you know. Sharp mind throughout the day, making the right kind of decisions, comes because you are strong. Yeah. And it comes from waiting upon the Lord. You renew your strength, physical and spiritual. Both are renewed in prayer. You can run around to become physically strong. And it is okay. Small benefit. <laughs> yes, little. If I pray for two hours and you run for two hours, I will be stronger than you. I will be five times stronger than you. You were busy in the, in the gym for two hours, raising up things and, and running on the a, on a, on a treadmill. Two hours. I am baka zote kato baka rika sumpapa raka akombi antaraba kurama ayata kanto mayaba. Two hours, two hours. They can even check us physically. See how strong I am and how strong you are. My mind will be alert. My spirit will be alert. My body will be energized. It's called renewing your strength. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, choir, you now know why you must come for morning glory. You have no choice. If you are part of the choir, you have no choice. Amen. Because you climb on my platform. You don't climb there when you, when you are weak. Climbing like a zombie. Oh God, help me. Uh, you stand there to sing. <laughs> no! Voice must come out strong. Your voice must come out strong. I feel like slapping people, especially those that are given microphones. They lead worship and they are leading with weakness. I feel like just jumping up there and say, put that microphone down. <laughs> Go build a spiritual capacity to lead the church into the presence of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can't be religious. We are in a battle. And if we are in a battle, we must be strong. Amen. Amen. We must exercise spiritually so that in the time when there is trouble, you come out better. Acts chapter 12. The Bible says, Herod, after he killed James, he saw how people were happy. The Jews. The religious people. And he took Peter and put him in prison. And the Bible says constant prayer was made by the church for Peter. Today I don't know what would happen if they would want to kill one of us. I don't know whether there will be somebody standing in the gap and saying, our pastor will not be killed by these wicked men. Uh -huh. 
And because of that prayer, they were keeping Peter because it was during the feast. So that after the feast, the following day, they would kill him. But because of the prayer, Amen. the prayer orchestrated heaven to bring enforcement. Ay, 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 ay. When we can't do it because we are going against people who have got stronger weapons than what you think, we just need prayer. We will get reinforcement from our headquarters. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. And an angel was sent by God as an answer to the prayer of those who were praying. Go to the prison and get my servant out. Let me show you what happened. Peter is sleeping. How many of you can sleep if you know the following day they are going to kill you? He wasn't praying. He was sleeping. Sound asleep. Why? Because he was properly covered. He had no worry. He had no anxiety. He had no fear. Why? Because he was spiritually covered. Covered. The angel come. Peter, get up. When the angel touched him, he is surrounded by four, surrounded by armed men. The chains fell off. The angel say, dress up, put on your sandals. Get up. Peter put on his clothes, put on his shoes, and got up. The angel begins to lead him. They come to the first gate. The gate opened on its own. They go to the second gate, the gate open on his own. They get into the street, first street, second street, and the angel disappears. All this time, Peter thinks it's a dream. When the angel left, he looked around and it looked like I am out of prison. I am out of prison and I am out of danger. What does Peter think? He does not think, let me run away and go and hide. He thinks about prayer. He says there are people who are praying. They need to know God has answered. And he knew in the house of Mary. You know, you cannot pray more than you love. You love God little, you pray little. So Peter says, I'm going to go to the house of Mary. There must be a big group of brethren there praying. He comes at the door. Begins to knock, say, open the door, it's late, it's late at night. A young girl that worked in that house, she comes to open the door and she hears the voice of Peter. She gets very excited, she runs back to go stop people praying from praying. Her name was Rhoda. Say, Peter is here. He said, you are out of your mind. Jesus, get him out, get him. Say, I heard his voice. He said, it's his angel. And Peter continued knocking. And Rhoda says, I'm not dreaming. You can stop your prayer and listen. You will hear the voice of Peter. And they stopped and they listened. And it was Peter standing out there. They came and they wanted to shout like JCC. Peter said, shh. I came here to give you a report of what happened. So that you can go and tell others to stop praying. And give, begin to give thanks to God for the miracle has happened. Whatever you need, you don't have because you don't ask. Whatever you need is already provided. But God does not put it on a, on a, on a silver platter for you. You must ask. You must ask. You must ask to receive it. It's given, but you must ask. I'm closing here. You must ask, it is given, you must ask. Your promotion is given, you must ask. Your next level is given, you must ask. The money that you need to start that new business is already given, you must ask. The future of your children, the thoughts that you are thinking, all the things that are happening in your family that make you feel like 
what, what sin did we do? No, there is no sin. God is giving you an opportunity yeah, to pray and, and order things and put things in order. Pray. When you pray, I was preaching in a big conference many years ago in Europe. I was teaching about prayer and I said, every time we pray, something must happen. Amen. My friend who organized those conferences, we went to the lounge and he said, I have never heard that before. He said, that sparked fire in the inside of me. That when I pray, something must. I didn't say something will happen. I said, and I was so passionate and I am still passionate about it. Every time we pray, something must happen. Amen. We're going to stand up and pray for three minutes. How many minutes? Do like this. How many minutes? Miracles are going to happen. Things that stand up, stand up now, stand up now and begin to pray. If you know how to pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Strengthen yourself. On this resurrection Sunday, things that have died are going to resurrect right now. On this resurrection Sunday, dreams that have died are coming back to life. Come on, pray strongly. On this resurrection Sunday, some things that you have given up on are coming now. They are coming now. Ah! Jesus Edemakosomaka Maria Londa Bagari Arabaya Soko Aha Larabaga Gaya Zamaga Bakoshaka Sit on us, Holy Ghost. Sit on us, Holy Ghost. Shili la 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 You are a faithful God. You answer by fire. You answer by fire. You answer by fire. We are waiting. Revive our hearts again. We are waiting, Lord. We are waiting. We are waiting. Oh, thank you, Master. 
celebrate the victory of the Lord. You know, there's a hymn I love. It says, God is here and he loves to bless us. And the, the chorus says, we are waiting, we are waiting, revive our hearts again. I want you to lift your hands. Father, let the spirit of prayer and supplication be released upon my sons and my daughters who have heard this message that they will not slumber, they will wake up to pray before dawn, they will follow you. Follow your example. This is how you were strong. Demons could not stand before you. Men could not stand before you. Even death could not hold you. Because you prayed. Teach us Lord to wait on you. against every heaviness that hinders prayer come against every spirit of the flesh that hinders prayer come against every human reasoning that hinders people from waking up to pray before they face the challenges of the day I come against you. I call you a devil. You are a liar. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Lose my children. Lose my sons and my daughters. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them. You foul spirit. You religious devil. I come against you. I set them free. Free to pray. Free to wake up before dawn. Following their master to pray. And they will not pray in their house. They will leave the house like Jesus did. May this month that we are getting into the fourth month it is the month of the finger of God may the finger of the Lord be seen in your life throughout the month of April in the name of Jesus if you are free to pray lift up your hands if you got the anointing lift up your hands and begin to thank God right now Something is sitting on you. You are unstoppable right now. Where they rejected you, doors have opened. Come against every sickness. I come against every weakness. Even this one that has been sickly. Aha. The anointing of God has sits on my life. 
Shindabo Latata Maya Suntabakata. I break the weakness. If you are sick, lay your hand where you are hurting. If you are weak, lay your lay your hand on your body. If you are if you are growing old, lay your lay your hand on your chest and say, "Not now, not now." In the name of Jesus, I will function like a young man. I will I will re, I will have my strength renewed to enjoy my life, to enjoy life, to enjoy the blessing. To enjoy the blessing of God. I thank you for hearing me. That is who you are. <laughs> you are a way maker. Way maker. Miracle worker. our normal offering I want to ask twenty sons when I say sons it may be male or female it doesn't matter to come and stand here stand with me and give for our world outreach they are going to help everybody everybody you have envelopes for world outreach. Everybody is going to get an envelope for the world outreach now. We're giving 20,000, 20 sons. If you're one of them, come and stand here. 20 sons. Giving 20,000 for the world outreach. 20 sons. 20 strong sons. Do I have 20 strong sons? You jump up quickly. We know, we're not... We're, we're, uh, we're not raising money. We're just doing something to show God. 20. And I don't have time to wait, so if you are thinking about it, uh, you're getting late. I am going to count to seven. Uh, and uh, if, you are he if you are not here, we will shut you out because you're not, you're not behaving like you are strong. You are behaving like you... You need to be encouraged. I'm only calling those that don't need to be encouraged. Those that are saying, those that are saying, no, I don't need to be encouraged. I want to stand with Papa to take the gospel to the nations of the world. And everyone take an envelope for your tithe and offering and for world outreach. Give me my world outreach envelope. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give to the, do you have envelopes for world outreach? Give to these, these people, uh, each one of them an envelope. There are 10. 10. We are 11. I'm, I'm number 11. But I'm not number 11. I'm number 12. That means there's somebody who is not standing here. <laughs> who, is, who is that that is not standing here? I am number 12, but these are 11, these are 10. You are number 11? You coming here? All right. Yes, I am number 12. I can never be number 11. Even in birth, I'm number 12.
So Deuteronomy 16, 17 says, every man give according to the blessing of the Lord that he has blessed them. The word outreach giving does not affect your normal giving. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, don't be carnal. Your word outreach giving can, is not part of what you give when you come before God. This is a special offering. Amen. So it doesn't affect what I give. I will still give what I give. And it doesn't affect what you give. You still give what you give. Because God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. I want you to, re, to raise both envelopes, the envelope for your tithe and offering, if you, have, if you are giving your offering, the envelope for your offering, the envelope for your, uh, for your offering, if you are giving from your phone like me. So make sure that you, you use both uh, Envelopes. If you are giving from M-Pesa, the information is up on the screen. World Outreach is a till number 310958. <clears throat> if you are giving World Outreach from your phone, it doesn't go to the 99 to the to the pay bill 991070, it goes to a till number. When you, when you put money in that till number, it will show my name. All right? So the money doesn't go to me. It is my ministry of reaching out to the nations. It's connected to a church account where the money goes so that we can do what we need to do. I walk in the light. I love I love light because when we walk in the light, we are fellowship. We are fellowship with one another. Somebody say amen. So I'm going, I'm going to pray for your wild outreach. And Bishop Murithi is going to pray for the offering. So you lift your world outreach envelope like this, like this, like this. Like this. If you have your world outreach envelope, I'm praying for the world outreach envelope. Let me tell you what happens. Philippians 4.19 is about this. Paul said, when I, when I started preaching the gospel, no church, no church communicated with me concerning giving and receiving except you. And verse 19, he says, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So, Father, as we give this special offering for reaching out to the nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ, we are going to Ethiopia. Father, I pray that we will have sufficiency and everyone that sows into this, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Amen. So Pastor Marithi will pray for the offering. So lift up the offering now as, past, as Bishop Marithi prays. Let's pray. Almighty Father, we want to thank you for giving us a seed, a sacrifice that we bring to your house this morning. My father, we have packaged it as a portion that you have given us. As we bring it to the altar, we decree that the power of sacrifice will speak on behalf of your lives in the name of the Lord. We decree abundance as you bring forth your sacrifice in the name of the Lord. Mm. We decree increase in the name of the Lord. There shall be an abundance as you lay your sacrifice upon the altar 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. We will lay our, our world outreach, our tithes on the altar, the offerings they will receive with the baskets. God bless you as you do this. Do we have any people that came to us? You, you met us at the crusade. You are here. Maybe you got saved in the crusade or you met us at the crusade and you decided to come to worship with us today. Do I have people like that? Raise your hand if you met us at the crusade yesterday and you are in the house of God today. Amen. Amen. People are walking so I wait for the people to, uh, to bring in their offerings. All right. We sing a song. Yes. Get cross the emblem of suffering and shame, and a love of cross where the tear is the best for a world of sinners who slain. So I cherish the old rugged cross. service we are gathering again in the evening at VOK grounds how many people have been in the crusade last night how many of you were there last night let me see by raise of hand just a handful just a handful tonight all of us are going to be there I say tonight all of us are going to be there Bring a neighbor, bring a friend, bring a sick person is the closure of our, of our crusade. And from tomorrow, from six, we will have revivals here every night. I said from tomorrow, we will come, all of us, for the revivals. Thank you for those few amens. And I will say it again. I expect you. Look at your neighbor, tell them it's our revival. Yes, so we are coming. There is no place far for home. So we will beat every jam. And we will come here and we will come and receive the new believers. They are coming uh, for the revivals. After the revivals, we will take them out there every one of them and baptize them in the water and get them trained and 
established in the word of God. And I want to ask again, do we have any people that are visit us today? You are visiting with us, Missy, by a raise of hand. You are very, very first time. Never been here before. This is your very first time to be with us. Amen. There is somebody back there. Thank you very much. Somebody else back there. Can you stand up if you are worshiping with us the very first time? I know we... Thank you. Thank you. I know we invited the, the, the new believers to the... Uh, to the English service, so they are going to be here in big numbers. All of you who are worshiping with us the very first time, please, you can come to the front. Uh, we are not going to ask you to sing or to testify, or we're not going just to make your life difficult. We're just going, we just want to appreciate you. Amen. Here in this house, we love visitors. We love you. We love you very much. That, so we just want to show you that you came to the right place. You came to the right church. Amen. I said you came to the right place. You came to the right church. And, uh, and you can make it your church. Just that. As simple as that. It doesn't... Uh, just as simple as that. This, this now... If you live in this town, in this city, this now can become your church and, uh, and uh, God will bless you. Did I see you in the crusade? Uh, I, I saw him. I saw him in the crusade. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Is there somebody else in the, who, who joined us from the crusade? I think I saw you from the crusade. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. So we just, want, we just want to say thank you for coming. Keep on coming. Our uh, sister here is going to be your host. You're going to go with her. Uh, just treat you like our guest for five minutes and uh, uh, make you feel at home. If you have any question about why we sweat the way we sweat or anything, just anything, you can ask them. You know, why does your pastor sweat the way he sweats? She, she will be able to tell you why I sweat. Just, just go with her. Thank you very much. This is a happy place. So when, when, when you come here, we, we are happy, happy, happy. Praise God, I'm born again. Hallelujah. And now we are going home. And you know, I went overboard on time today, so I, I, I apologize. Will you forgive your pastor? Yeah, yeah, I, I, it was not my intention, but I got, uh, I got carried away because when I teach prayer, it's just part of what I just love the most. And I, and I had to give more dosage. So please uh, lift your hands and receive blessing from the Lord. We are all coming for morning glory as you lift up your hands and say, well, I'm coming for morning glory tomorrow. Before I pray for you, say, I'm coming for morning glory tomorrow. And the devil can do nothing about it. I, I cover every one of you with the blood of Jesus. I speak God's protection over your life. The angel of the Lord that watches over this house, watch your going out as he watched your coming in for surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Have a blessed day. We'll see you at the crusade at 4.30. Lift up your eyes Look at the fields The harvest is right Lift up your eyes the tools are sharp, the work is kept together, lift up your eyes, it is harvest time. This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry, and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help.
Thank you.